Get ready to be amazed as we take on a journey to discover the most powerful and speedy cars that don't rely on forced induction. From Ferrari to Pagani, these cars are true engineering marvels and represent the pinnacle of automotive performance. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the world of naturally aspirated supercars. Number 10. Lamborghini Murcielago SV The Murcielago SV was like the cherry on top of a German-engineered Sunday, brought to you by the folks at Audi. It was the last hurrah of the trusty 6.2-liter V12 that had been the main attraction to every V12 Lamborghini since the 60s. The second-gen Murcielago LP640 came out with a bigger engine, but the Murcielago SV was like the ultimate boss battle with the 661 brake horsepower at 8,000 RPM engine and 660 newton meters of torque at 6,500 RPMs, reaching top speeds of 210 miles per hour if you chose the optional low drag rear spoiler. But all good things come to an end, and the Murcielago was replaced by the Aventador, taking the legendary Bizzarini V12 with it. Number 9. You ready? Ferrari 812 Supervast Competizione. Quote, if you want a car that'll make you feel like a rock star, then leave your friends green with envy. Look no further than the Ferrari 812 Competizione. It's like a super fast wasn't enough, and they had the go to make it even more super and fast. This bad boy has a V12 engine that'll make you feel like you're in the middle of a heavy metal concert, and it'll hit speeds so fast you'll forget you're on a road and think you're in a DeLorean. With a top speed of 212 miles per hour, it's the most powerful, naturally aspirated car in the market. And if that doesn't make you want to buy one, I don't know what will. Number 8. Ferrari. La Ferrari. In 2013, Ferrari said goodbye to their V12 mid-engine designs with a bang, introducing the La Ferrari. But don't get too excited. It was only available in a limited edition of 500 models globally for a coupe version and 210 models for an open-top Aperta. To show off their F1 technology, Ferrari paired their 6.0-liter V12 engines with KERS, KERS, resulting in a whopping 950 horsepower and a verified top speed, 218 miles per hour. But buying a Ferrari has never been easy. In the case of the La Ferrari, you couldn't just walk into a showroom, put down your deposit, and walk away. No, 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 no. You had to be handpicked by Ferrari to even be considered worthy of owning one of these rare beauties. Number 7. Lamborghini Aventador SVJ The Aventador SVJ models are like having the aging parting animal that just won't quit. It's the last hurrah for the Aventador platform and probably the last Lamborghini that they'll build with a V12 engine road car. But Lamborghini is not going quietly out into the night. The 6.5 liter V12 engine with 759 horsepower and electronically controlled all wheel drive ensures that the SVJ can party like a rock star and reach its top speed of 220 miles per hour. In the past, big Lamborghinis were more about looking good than going fast, but with active aerodynamics, the SVJ can show off its V12 and currently holds the Nuremberg Ring lap record for production car. So let's raise a glass and say goodbye to the Aventador platform in style and its speed. It's number 6. Aston Martin 177 Aston Martin known for making fast and comfortable cars, decided to switch things up with the arrival of the limited edition 177 in 2009. It's like they said to themselves, quote, why be comfortable when you can be fast and fabulous? Under the hood of this beauty is the AM Scosworth V12 engine, 7.3 liters under there, 48 valves, and with 750 horsepower, all designed to make the 177 reach its top speed of 221 miles per hour. Sure, it may look too similar to other Aston Martin models at the time, but let's be real, it's not about the looks, it's about the speed. Unfortunately, it wasn't special enough to warrant the launch price of $1.87 million, but rarity will help boost investments. Maybe it needed a little more wow factor, like a unicorn or something. Number 5. Ferrari Enzo Previous flagship Ferraris have been a bit of a gamble, like the F40 was a sure bet and the F50 was more of a scratch-off ticket, but in 2003, Ferrari hit the jackpot with the Enzo. They were heavily influenced by the success of their F1 team, so they used carbon composite body shells and F1 source panel shift transmissions. The Tippo F140B 6-liter engine produced 651 horsepower and was claimed to be the most powerful naturally aspirated engine at launch, giving the Enzo a top speed of 221 miles per hour. 
Ferrari later went on to produce the Enzo-based FXX model, and most of the development work was carried out by none other than Michael Schumacher, like a race car driver who knows how to make a car go fast and look good doing it. Number 4. Lamborghini Verneno In 2013, Lamborghini celebrated its 50th anniversary by creating 14 examples of Veneno, 5 coupes, and 9 roadsters. It's like they said, let's take an Aventador, give it a makeover, and call it a Veneno. The Veneno features more aggressive styling, although much of the car underneath remained unchanged. Like the saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So they decided to upgrade the 6.5 liter naturally aspirated V12 to 740 horsepower, which delivered a top speed of 221 miles per hour. It's not a surprise that this rare Lamborghini at launch cost a cool $4 million. All planned examples were sold before the Geneva Motor Show closed. Number 3. Pagani Zonda F Club Sport The Zonda may have said goodbye in 2017, but that didn't stop Pagani from giving one last hurrah. They took away 55 kgs like a diet plan for supercars and paired it with a powerful V12 engine that'll make you feel like you're in a rocket ship. With a top speed of 226 miles per hour, it'll make your hair fly back like you're in a shampoo commercial. Plus, it's got carbon fiber brakes that'll stop you faster than your mom telling you to clean your room. But here's the catch. You can't drive it on regular roads unless you're willing to play by district regulations and have a limited annual mileage. But don't worry, Pagani's got you covered with the road legal Huayra. More on that in another video. Number 2. Mercedes CLK GTR Supersport Mercedes, Mercedes, Mercedes. You know the drill. Fancy grill, fancy lights, but wait, what's this? Behind that instant-looking grill lies a 6.9-liter V12 monster engine capable of delivering up to 711 horsepower. They sent your grandma's Mercedes, no sir, in super sport mode. It'll make you feel like you're in a video game. Zooming past 60 miles per hour in just 2.9 seconds and reaching a top speed of 232 miles per hour. But when you remove the fancy dress, you'll see that this car is nothing like a regular road car. It's built like a racing machine with a center carbon fiber tub and racing style bolt-on sub-accessories for easy maintenance. So in short, this car is like a transformer that turns into a racing machine when you hit the gas pedal. Number 1. McLaren F1 It's been over 25 years since McLaren's F1 hypercar hit the scene, but it's still the speed king of naturally aspirated road cars reaching a top speed of 231 miles per hour back when its rivals could barely break 200. It's like a revolutionary carbon fiber construction and BMW 6.1 liter combined in a V12 engine and they had a baby and it was beautiful. Nowadays, if you want to go faster, you'll need a whole lot of power like the Veyron's four turbochargers and a thousand horsepower. But back in the day, McLaren's engineers were able to set the record with just 618 HP. Talking about humble bragging there. And there you have it, folks, a list of the fastest naturally aspirated cars in the world. These beasts prove that you don't need turbochargers or superchargers to reach crazy high speeds. Just a whole lot of engineering and power. We hope you liked this video and learned something about these incredible machines. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit your comments up like this, saying which one you want. And as always, stay safe and keep the rubber on the road. Thanks for watching.